co-main event, so much excitement, not just because these two are training partners and good friends, uh, two outstanding and entertaining wrestlers. Leo dominated a very good field at Fargo this July. Knox, wow, look at that, right to left on that single leg standing, looking to dive under his Knox. Leo not able to stop the dive roll, now it's Knox underneath, looking to repass the leg is Leo DeLuca, and these two are scrambling right away, and it's Leo DeLuca close to that three, and he's gonna get it. Jumps out to the first takedown, does Leo DeLuca, but now looking switch, fighting in is Anthony Knox. And there's a count going on in the ankle. No, nope. stop counting. And now Knox trying to work for a reversal to get to his preferred position, which is on top. But of course, he can obviously generate from his feet. He can counter score, but it's Leo DeLuca holding position really well. I, answer, I asked Anthony Knox yesterday, when you guys are at your best in the room, what does it look like? He said it looks like a lot of points. Yeah, and that's a, a definitely indicative in that opening scramble. Man, I can't get over that first attack. Right, kind of jabs right and fires left as DeLuca. He's in so deep. See if he continues to ride or maybe kicks Knox free, not wanting to give up that reversal and wind up in Anthony's wheelhouse. Although there's a quick, he goes chop and then it's a quick escape from Anthony Knox. 3-1 on the scoreboard. Still two minutes left in the first. Over under position there for DeLuca. DeLuca's speed really hard to anticipate, but Knox has felt it. DeLuca still able to get to that shot earlier. That is some crazy speed. One of the reasons a lot of the coaches are on the other side. Him. Almost looking for a duck on that right side was DeLuca. Knox able to catch. Club attempt there from Knox. Eyeballing it. Knox looks to have a size advantage here. Yeah, absolutely. He has done some wrestling up at 126, but most recently at 55 kilos, which is a pound and a half away from 120. A lot of wrestling from space so far. Not a ton from the tie. Leo fires again, but looking to maybe look for a goal behind was Knox. Nothing. They're back up on their feet. 52, 52 seconds to go. Good job, DeLuca controlling that elbow, slowing down the go-behind attempt of Knox. He's lethal with those go-behinds. And that's the second time he's looked for that like Iranian lat drop from that over-under position. 5-1 out, 2, 5-1, 2 outlaws. No, that move, as you see, looking for the attack on the edge. Third attack go. there from DeLuca. Final 30 seconds of the first period. Looking for that single leg again, not able to get it. And now it's Knox trying to score, but hanging on to that arm was DeLuca and couldn't clear out. So a near score there from Anthony Knox, but not able to get it. So we're coming up on the final five seconds of the first. mentioned earlier, a lot of college coaches in the room and eyes are glued on this mat. All the big names after both of these guys. Both guys uncommitted, both juniors, and a lot of schools would like to get these guys as a package deal at 25 or 33. Yeah, that'd work. Leo lines up on the right side. Wow, nice return, and Knox was thinking Granby roll, but Leo was ready. Another lift, puts him down. Leo drops, locks in the crotch there. And Leo needs to work to finish, or he's gonna get hit for stalling. Either need to put him down or kick him. And they're gonna get the escape? No. And I think that's the right call there. You gotta turn face and be in bounds. DeLuca didn't have much more time to work before he was hit with a stall call. For so sure. smart getting out of bounds there. Now look at this, riding time, 55 seconds. Coming into this match, you would think mad advantage would favor Knox, but right now, DeLuca close to securing that minute of riding time. 
totally agree, but we have not seen Knox from the top position as of yet. And Leo may not have to go there. Leo yeah. having the takedown, he's got the option. He's got riding time, he's got a one point lead here, minute 20, but still a lot of wrestling to be done. A shot, reshot there by Anthony Knox. Picking up his footwork there is DeLuca. Knox was finding a little bit of a rhythm and DeLuca maybe trying to disrupt that. Now finger to the eye, get a fresh start. Knox all good, back to center we go. 48 remaining in the second period. Leo looking for that same attack. Leo fired a lot more leg attacks than Knox to this point. Speed of DeLuca has just made it really hard for Knox to find openings. A little shot attempt there. Good exchange there from Knox, but can't generate anything. Now 13 seconds to go in the second. Oh, <laughs> catches him at the buzzer, but time runs out. And DeLuca is going to go neutral, not going to test the waters going underneath. And he's afforded himself that right. Yeah, really savvy tactical decision. And it's that three-point takedown once again playing a big factor in a match. Knox needs to find his way to his own takedown. And DeLuca continuing to try to create an opening. He fires a double leg there, but Knox able to catch it and they end up in an over under position. For Knox, you're on, at this point in the match, you've not been able to get to the legs much. Is it almost a point where it's like, man, do you let him in and try to? counter score to see if that's your way to get get on the board because right now Leo has had all the answers for head hands and Knox not been able to get in yeah that may be the path to victory or at least the path to a chance for a takedown a minute to go DeLuca is not slowed he's not at all footwork is it's just so quick throughout no signs of fading. There's a shot from Anthony Knox. Shallow though. Front headlock for DeLuca as he's gonna get to short offense position. They're gonna go out of bounds. 43 remaining. 103 of riding time for DeLuca. Tight front headlock there. Saw Knox reaching for that leg. He kind of had to let go of it. Shot attempt, but once again caught by DeLuca. 30 seconds to go here. And there's a, a warning against DeLuca and coming up underneath. Little peek out there. Diving under though is DeLuca and gonna get the three plus swipes. Knox is gonna do it in the last 15 seconds of the match. Can you believe it? Unbelievable. Go behind, caught him on his back. Short time left to Luca. Super frustrated. Wrestled a great match, but not to the end. It was Knox in the end going to get it. Unbelievable conclusion there. It looked like DeLuca was going to do it.